When it comes to video editing, the classic Final Cut Pro X vs Adobe Premiere Pro feud still stands. They are both incredible video editing software but of course, they have some specifics. Even though there are a ton of other options, such as DaVinci Resolve, Avid, Filmora, and even After Effects that can fulfill the same purpose. The top seems to be owned by Apple and Adobe. I'd say that it's the time to go ahead and see the differences and similarities between them, and maybe try to choose a winner. One, system requirements. Apple's Final Cut Pro X is right now only available for Mac users. Besides, in order for it to run smoothly, you need at least 8 GB RAM, at least Mac OS 10.13, 6, and a decent graphics card with at least 1 GB VRAM. Adobe Premiere Pro, on the other hand, is available for both Mac and Windows users, and its system requirements are a little higher. This is not necessarily a problem, because most Windows-based devices have somewhat better specs. If you want to use a VR headset with them, your computer also needs Steam VR, and of course, much better specs in order to run it. 2. Media Organization One of the most important things you need to consider when choosing a video editing software is the library, and how you can work with it in the fastest way. Adobe Premiere Pro has a very interesting system to organize your files, everything going in folders and subfolders for easy access, as well as color tags in order to have everything structured. 3. Supported Formats Of course, you want the video editing software used to support all the possible formats. Both of these them can load REW video shot with basically any camera, from Nikon, Canon, and Sony to iPhone. They both require to have the codecs installed on your computer, and will also load XML files exported from each other. 4. Timeline User Interface The way you interact with your video editing software is crucial. You need to have everything on hand, and also to be able to move and change everything you're not comfortable in. Adobe Premiere Pro has a very intuitive interface, making everything very easy to understand. Whenever you create a new timeline, the video and sound will go on different tracks, this allowing you to separately edit them. In the Premiere Pro editor, you can also have nested sequences, subsequences, and subclips to help you keep everything organized. 5. Motion Graphics Integrations If you want to take your edits a step further, you may be interested in also using a motion graphics engine and create more interesting things. Premiere Pro has the advantage of being able to communicate with the amazing After Effects, which is a standard in the video editing industry. Even though it's a little harder to work with, it can create impressive things. 6. Rendering Any video editor wants to export his videos as fast as possible, so let's go ahead and see what are the main differences between these two. The biggest advantage of Apple's Final Cut Pro X is the render time. It's one of the fastest possible and can render a 5 minutes video in under 2 minutes. 7. Ease of Access For a casual video editor, Final Cut Pro X is basic. It's very intuitive and you can create quick edits easily. Premiere Pro, on the other hand, is considered to be much more comprehensive and easier to use. If you're a professional, you may want to choose it, along with its integrations with After Effects. 8. Price Price is a very important factor too when choosing a new software. Right now, Final Cut Pro X stands at about $299.99 on the Apple Store, and it's a one-time purchase. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.